big game, obviously, tomorrow. I mean, everything, uh, you know, knockout game at Columbus. Uh, Tata has been saying that he thinks Columbus is the best team in the league. You guys did beat them in the previous game. I'm just wondering, but you had a really big save in that game. I remember that was a dicey game. What are you expecting uh, from this game tomorrow, and how different do you think it'll be playing them up there in an el elimination game versus uh, playing them here in a regular season game? Thank you. Yeah, I'd say I agree with Tata on that. They're a great team. Of course, they're doing really well in the season. They had a good run in the CONCACAF Champions Cup, and you know, it's something that we're going to be very aware of as we go up there to play them. Of course, it's League Cup. It's a different tournament other than league, so I think you know, we, we're going to have our hands full with them. Um, I think overall, like attacking, defending, how they play, their style of play is very difficult to compete with. How are they different from other teams? What do you see? They have a whole lot of possession. They work very well together. Uh, they're fast, you know, smart players. So uh, we're going to do our best to go there and compete. And yeah, we're playing away from home. It's an elimination game. So there might be a little bit more pressure, or a little bit more feeling around it. But I think those are the games that uh, pro players look forward to playing. Andrea? Hi, Drake. I wanted to ask you about Columbus and their attacking players. I guess you have been studying and, and preparing for this matchup because they have w one of the best duos in MLS and in whole CONCACAF in Cucho Hernandez and, and Rossi. And also, if you had practiced penalties, you were a star last year in, in this competition, and you scored your penalty when you, you, you had to take it. So had you, have you had a chance to practice that in, in this week leading up to, to this matchup? Thank you. Yeah, Columbus' attacking players are very good. I think it's something that we experienced in uh, league play. You know, they have a lot of threats. Really, all of them are quality players. So, of course, as a goalkeeper and, like, you know, leader of, like, the defense, something that we're going to do our best to, to stop. And, yeah, of course, it's League's Cup. It goes straight to pens after regular, regular time. So if it comes down to it, I feel prepared to take my penalty and, you know, do my best in the, in the uh, shootout. Jose? Awesome. Um, Drake, just because this is an elimination game and uh, maybe the first opportunity since the Champions Cup in CONCACAF, um, where would you rate this game in terms of importance for you guys? And um, I have a quick second question because um, CJ got the start a few weeks ago in League's Cup. Um, I'm just wondering how did you guys as goalkeepers uh, perceive that? And um, he was very excited talking to us uh, after in, in, this, in the mix zone. Uh, what was the environment like between the goalkeepers when he got the start? Yeah, I was super proud of CJ. I mean, he works so hard, such a great teammate, such a great goalkeeper. Uh, I know he has a lot of quality. So to see him, you know, get a win, get a clean sheet, help our team start Leeds Cup off the right way was, was huge. I think everyone on the team was very proud of him. And, you know, it was just a big moment for him. So I think that's the cool thing about our team is players are able to step up, uh, do their job, and perform well. And uh, very, very proud of him. I think. Could you repeat the second yeah, question? Yeah, I mean, again, like tough game, of course, an elimination. And you want to win those games. You don't <laughs> it's either win or go home. So uh, it's something that, you know, will be difficult playing away from home. You know, they have a good atmosphere there. And yeah, it's just good experience for our team as well, playing in these type of games where you have to compete, you have to play well. There's not much margin for error. And so I think our team is ready for it, and we're going to do our best tomorrow night. I think teams change over time. You know, I think our values as a, our values as a team have have remained. But you know, I think more players are healthy. Players have gotten different opportunities. A lot of players have stepped up, and so I think we have a bit more depth now compared to early in the year. And a lot of guys have confidence, a playing with confidence. I think that's important throughout the season. Hello, Drake. Uh, what do you think you you have improved in the last year? I mean, uh, what is the the biggest change in your in your game in, in, in the last year? Yeah, as a goalkeeper, we're always looking for ways to improve. You know, there's always something. Even if you have a great game, do well, get a clean sheet, whatever it is, there's always something that you can look back and film and say, OK, I probably could have done that better. Maybe I could have helped the team out in that way better. So I'm always looking for ways to improve my game. I think for me, I just try and be as consistent as possible. 
I'm not perfect. You know, I'm still learning as a goalkeeper. And, you know, with time, you know, you start to, you know, learn how to adapt to games in the moment, how to learn from the games that you play. And, uh, yeah, I just try. And I think for me, the last year is just kind of being more of a leader. I think, you know, wearing the captain's band is a bit of a, of a responsibility to have more of a voice and, you know, just add some confidence to the, the team in, like, the back line. So, yeah, I'd probably say leadership is where I've probably grown the most. We'll go to Michelle and Javier. Okay. Uh, the game the other day, uh, there were two, you know, two penalties in, in the area. Uh, you guys would have, you know, run away with that game probably without that. Can you talk about that? Is that something that you guys have discussed about, you know, not putting you in those situations to have to deal with those penalty kicks in those tough situations? Yeah, I think penalties are a part of the game. You know, when it happens, it's unfortunate. I don't think anyone's intending to draw a penalty. And, you know, it's just a classic circumstance of adversity in a game. You know, it is what it is. And you have to deal with it in the moment. I mean, I didn't save either of them. I'm more disappointed in not, you know, saving at least one of them. Granted, it's a little difficult when it's the same guy taking two pens, but again, that's just part of the job, being ready for anything. So, yeah, we want to limit our mistakes in those moments, especially in these elimination games, these high-stakes games. So, yeah, I think, you know, we've learned from that. And, you know, again, it's just part of the game. Like, I don't think anyone intended to draw two pens, but it's something that we have to deal with. And, you know, the game's not over till it's over. So we still had full second half to play after that first half. And I think we adapted really well going into like the second half of that game. Thank you. Hi, Drake. Good morning. Javier Rodriguez with Fan Network TV. Um, you are one of the rocks of this team, uh, very important player. Uh, but I want to ask you about this. Could you please dedicate some words to the Team USA that just participated in the Olympic Games? Give some words, uh, give a message to, to, to them, please. Yeah, on both sides, men's and women's, I think it was a great showing um, to see you know, them represent the country in the way that they did and how they competed is great. And you know, I think for the women, winning a gold medal is huge. You know, it just shows uh, the a class and hard work and dedication that they put into their craft. And to be able to bring a gold medal home and represent the way that they did is great. So yeah, it's awesome to see them show out for us in the Paris Olympics. Andrea? Hi, Drake. I wanted to ask you about David Martinez. He came in, he played after two days of being here. How have you built up uh, chemistry with him? Because uh, uh, the center back position both have been a little bit changing uh, for you this year. You don't always have the same pairing in front of you. Yeah, I think David's done great. You know, I think he came in and yeah, in like two days' time, he played his first game. And he's very good on the ball, very confident on the ball, makes good decisions, you know, really, really good player. And yeah, he's messed with the team well. Of course, it's always tough midseason to join a team and be asked to go in and start games and perform well. So for him to do that and do that efficiently has been great. And yeah, happy to have him on the team. And he's going to add a lot of uh, versatility to kind of how we build up. and. Uh, intensity and how we defend. So, mm -hmm. any other questions? Okay. The last one here, with Michelle. Okay. You can go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um, Drake, uh, you guys have not played a real match this game. This is first, I think, uh, for the same reason. I think it's too much. Um, do you feel like the team has really just gotten used to playing without, you know, he's obviously whatever, best player in the world, your captain and all that, your co captain. Uh, it seems like the team has just figured out how to play and win without him. Can you talk about that? And and on that also, how involved is he with you guys when he's out injured and he's not out at training? How much interaction are you guys having with him during this period? Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I think it's been unfortunate, you know, that we haven't had him for like the last two months. And he's a player that you want, you know, on your roster, playing games, uh, helping us win games. And so it's been, of course, it's been difficult. But I think, you know, other players have stepped up and done their job and been able to, you know, um, help us out in those games when he's not available. And so, yeah, it's, you know, he's such a big presence on our team in terms of when he's with us and even when he's not playing, you know. He's in every day, you know, doing work, work with, like, the trainers and, I think it's important for the guys to, you know, see how he takes care of himself, see how he uh, responds to an injury, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to have him back soon.